Have you ever stopped and ponder on where rocks come from? A question that might pique curiosity during a leisurely stroll in the park, or perhaps while you were gardening. Rocks, as commonplace as they may seem, hold a fascinating story of origin that begins deep within the heart of our planet, in places far from the reach of sunlight. Rocks aren't just strewn about on the Earth's surface. In fact, they make up the very structure of our planet. They are found deep within the Earth's crust, carved out of the Earth's mantle, and even in the core. Imagine that every pebble, every boulder you've ever seen, has a story that starts from the fiery depths of the Earth. But what exactly are rocks made of? Well, rocks are like a hearty stew, a mixture of various ingredients which in this case are minerals. Minerals are inorganic substances, they're not living and never were. Each mineral carries a specific chemical composition and structure. Picture them as tiny, intricate building blocks that come together to form rocks. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that there are over 4,000 identified minerals on Earth? But don't worry, you don't need to remember them all. The most common minerals found in rocks include quartz, feldspar and mica. These minerals, under certain conditions, combine and crystallize to form the diverse array of rocks we see around us. The birth of a rock is no ordinary event. It requires intense heat and pressure, conditions that are found deep within the Earth's crust and mantle. Over time, these minerals undergo changes. They meld together, they harden, and gradually, they form rocks. It's a process that can take millions, even billions of years, a testament to the enduring nature of rocks. So, in essence, rocks are born from the Earth's fiery depths, molded by intense heat and pressure. It's a journey that's as old as the Earth itself, a testament to the enduring nature of the world we live in. So, the next time you pick up a rock, remember, you're holding a piece of our planet's history in your hand. Now, you might be asking, how exactly do rocks form? Well, it's all down to a fascinating process known as the rock cycle. This cycle is the journey that rocks take, transforming from one type to another over millions of years. It's a tale of fire, water, and immense pressure that shapes and reshapes our planet. Let's start with igneous rocks. These are formed when magma or lava cools and solidifies. Imagine a volcano erupting, spewing out hot, molten rock. As this lava cools down, it hardens into igneous rock. Granite and basalt are prime examples of this type. Next up, we have sedimentary rocks. These are formed from the accumulation of small pieces of other rocks, plant matter, or animal remains. Picture a river carrying tiny pieces of rock downstream. Over time, these sediments get deposited and compacted, eventually forming sedimentary rocks like sandstone or shale. Last, but certainly not least, we have metamorphic rocks. These are formed when existing rocks are subjected to intense heat and pressure, deep within the Earth's crust. The conditions are so extreme that they alter the rock's mineral composition and structure, transforming it into something new. That's how rocks like marble and slate come into being. But here's the thing, these processes aren't isolated. They're all interconnected, forming a continuous cycle. For instance, igneous rocks can erode over time, turning into sediments that later become sedimentary rocks. These sedimentary rocks can be buried deep within the Earth, subjected to heat and pressure, and transformed into metamorphic rocks. And if the conditions are right, these metamorphic rocks might even melt and cool down to form new igneous rocks. It's a never-ending dance of transformation. So the rock cycle is a continuous dynamic process that shapes and reshapes our planet, it's a testament to the Earth's ever-changing nature, reminding us that even the ground beneath our feet has a story to tell. Now, let's delve into the different types of rocks. First off, we have igneous rocks. These are born from the fiery depths of the Earth. When magma from volcanoes or cracks in the Earth's crust cools and solidifies, it forms igneous rocks. They come in two forms, extrusive and intrusive. Extrusive igneous rocks like basalt form when magma cools quickly on the Earth's surface, resulting in tiny crystals. Intrusive igneous rocks, on the other hand, form below the Earth's surface when magma cools slowly, allowing larger crystals to form. Granite is a classic example of an intrusive igneous rock. Next, we have sedimentary rocks. 
These are the storytellers of the geology world. They form over millions of years as layers of sediment, like sand, silt, and even the remains of living organisms, are compacted and cemented together. Over time, these layers build up, creating unique bands of color and texture that can often give us clues about the Earth's past. Limestone and sandstone are examples of sedimentary rocks. Last, but certainly not least, we have metamorphic rocks. These are the transformers of the rock world. They start as either igneous or sedimentary rocks, but then they undergo a metamorphosis. Under the influence of extreme heat and pressure, their structure changes, often leading to new minerals and crystals forming. The result? A completely new rock. Marble, which starts off as limestone, and slate, which begins life as clay, are examples of metamorphic rocks. Each of these rock types has its own unique journey and tells us a different part of the Earth's story. From the fiery birth of igneous rocks, through the slow layering of sedimentary rocks, to the intense transformation of metamorphic rocks, each type gives us a glimpse into the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. Understanding these three types of rocks gives us a glimpse into the Earth's geological history. So, what are some of the most common rocks we encounter in our daily lives? Let's start with granite, a rock that's as hardy as they come. It's an igneous rock, which means it was once a hot molten material deep within the Earth. Over millions of years, this material cooled down and solidified, resulting in a rock that's chock full of crystals. Granite is usually a mix of white, pink or grey, and it's speckled with dark grains that give it a distinct sparkly appearance. You'll find it in abundance in continental crust, and it's often used in construction because of its durability and aesthetic appeal. Next up is limestone, a sedimentary rock that's made up primarily of tiny marine fossils, calcium carbonate, and the shells and skeletons of sea creatures. This rock is usually found in shallow, warm marine environments. You know those gorgeous cliffs along the coast, and the spectacular stalactites and stalagmites in caves. That's limestone for you. It's also used in making cement and as a building material. And then we have marble, a metamorphic rock that's essentially limestone's glamorous cousin. When limestone is subjected to high temperatures and pressure within the earth, it transforms into marble. This rock is renowned for its beauty and elegance. It's usually white, but impurities can lend it a variety of colors. Marble is found in mountainous regions, and it's often used in sculpture and architecture. Finally, sandstone, another sedimentary rock that's made up of sand-sized minerals or rock grains. Most sandstone is composed of quartz or feldspar because these are the most common minerals in the Earth's crust. Like uncemented sand, sandstone may be any color due to the presence of different minerals. It is often found in deserts and beaches. These rocks are not just part of our natural environment, but they also play crucial roles in our everyday lives. Whether it's the granite in our kitchen countertops, the limestone in our buildings, the marble in our statues, or the sandstone in our walls, these common rocks are essential components of our world. To wrap things up, let's share some amazing rock facts. Did you know that the oldest rocks on Earth are over 4 billion years old? Yes, you heard it right, billion, with a B. These ancient relics are found in Western Greenland and are appropriately named the Acasta Nice. Just think about it, these rocks were around when the Earth was just cooling down from its formation. Moving from the oldest to the most valuable, let's talk about gemstones. These beautiful stones, like diamonds, rubies and emeralds, are actually types of rocks. They're formed deep within the Earth's crust under intense heat and pressure. And the most expensive gemstone ever sold? That title goes to the Pink Star Diamond, which fetched a whopping $71 million in an auction in Hong Kong in 2017. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer size of some rocks. The largest monolith, or single massive stone in the world, is Mount Augustus, in Western Australia. It stands at over 850 meters high, which is nearly twice the height of the world-famous Ayers Rock. And finally, have you ever heard of a rock that floats? Well, it exists. Meet pumice, the rock that defies gravity. It's a type of volcanic rock that forms when lava cools rapidly, trapping gas bubbles inside. 
These bubbles make pumice light enough to float on water. Wow, who knew rocks could be so fascinating? They're not just inanimate objects lying around. They're a testament to the Earth's dynamic and vibrant history. We hope you learned something. If you did, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content.